हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज समर्थ एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज लव फॉर अनाटमी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एनाटोमिकल स्नम पॉक्स बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द टॉपिक आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू गाइज टू प्लीज टेक अ लुक एट माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो टूडे वी विल स्टडी द एनाटोमिकल स्नम पॉक्स अंडर द टॉपिक्स दैट इज इट्स डेफिनेशन इट्स बाउंड्रीज एंड द कंटेंट्स so let's get started with the definition of the anatomical snuff box so the anatomical snuff box is a triangular depression on the posterior lateral side of the wrist this is the posterior lateral aspect of the wrist and this is the triangular depression known as the anatomical snuff box now a thing to remember is the anatomical snuff box is seen best when the thumb is extended in this situation now let us take a look at the boundaries of the anatomical snuff box since it it is a triangular depression it is supposed to have three boundaries also a floor and a roof so the first boundary is the medial ulnar or the posterior boundary which is formed by the tendon of the extensor pollicis longus Now let us take a look at the diagram of the anatomical snuff box. In this diagram you guys could easily see the medial or the ulnar or the posterior border is formed by the tendon of the extensor pollicis longus. This right here is the triangular depression known as the anatomical snuff box and this is its medial border formed by the tendon of extensor pollicis longus. the second border is the lateral boundary that is the lateral radial or the anterior border formed by the tendons of the extensor pollicis brevis and the tendon of the abductor pollicis longus this is the lateral radial or the anterior border of the anatomical snuff box formed by two tendons that is tendon of the extensor pollicis brevis this is the tendon of the extensor pollicis brevis and the tendon of the abductor pollicis longus this is the tendon of the abductor pollicis longus the base which is also referred to as the proximal border is formed by the styloid process of the radius this is the medial border the lateral border and this is the proximal border or the base formed by the styloid process of the radius bone this is the base or the proximal border the roof is formed by the skin and the fascias so the floor is formed by two carpal bones that is the scaphoid bone and the trapezium bone also the base of the first metacarpal bone also concludes in the floor of the anatomical snuff box before starting with the contents of the anatomical snuff box let us revise the boundaries once more this triangular depression is known as the anatomical snuff box the medial border or the ulnar or the posterior border is formed by the tendon of extensor pollicis longus the proximal border or the base is formed by the styloid process of the radius bone the lateral radial or the anterior border is formed by two tendons that is the extensor pollicis brevis and the tendon of the abductor pollicis longus now let us talk about the contents of the anatomical snuff box so the contents of the anatomical snuff box are divided into two categories that is the superficial contents and the deep contents so the superficial contents of anatomical snuff box includes the cephalic vein and the superficial branch of the radial nerve of which you guys could remember is also a content of the cubital fossa the deep structures are the radial artery now let us take a look of the contents in the diagram as we i have talked there are two type of contents superficial content and deep content so let us talk about the deep content This is the anatomical snuff box and the deep content include the radial artery. The superficial content include the superficial branch of the radial nerve that is this one and the cephalic vein that is this one. So guys this was all about the anatomical snuff box. 
If you found this video interesting, please do like, share, subscribe and do comment. Thanking you, signing off, love for anatomy.